Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Cars 2 for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be driving the McLaren P1 up the California Highway um, map. Uh, it's the full, full, full thing. It's 12.83 miles or kilometers, 107 turns. Most of them are at the start though, so should play into both car strengths as the second section is quite open. Uh, that being said, let's get into the drive. One light, two lights, three red lights, and away. Uh, sorry, it took me a while to say away. It's really struggling off the line there into the, the first double left-hander of the uh, of the the route. That was took me way too long today. Hard on the brakes for the first hairpin. Um, not a lot of hairpins, despite this being well, it's not it's not a mountain road, is it? It's a coastal road. Um, and gloss over that though, swinging it in to the second hairpin and opening the DRS, which you have to hold open because it shuts after a while. I've just clattered the barrier a little bit there. Um, like sliding a little bit, sort of has it hasn't messed me up too much from my int uh, entry into the into the dip hairpin there. Up through the first wind, like flat out windy section of the of the course, hard on the brakes for this long left hander. Don't want to cut it though, because if you go on the grass, you will spin. Um, that's just that. Rubbing up against the uh, lovely textured rock face of the hair, um, almost rubbing up against it, I should say. Uh, another flat out windy section, he says, <laughs> lifting off the throttle. And shifting back down into third to avoid contact with the barriers. Oh, that's just this has just not gone well, has it? There's a blind corner there. It tightens as you get up and over the crest. I get a real handful when it puts the power down, knocking over some innocent cones there. Now for the ramp. Oh my goodness. Uh, so if you step on the brakes, then uh, the car just does a front flip. So that's that's always good information there. I have a squeaky brake pedal, um, which you know that's just that's just not good. Uh, out of the tunnel, then hard on the brakes again for this deceptively tight left-hander uh, into another tight right-hander. And then another left hander. It's very windy, uh, this section. Sort of opens out a little bit here, though. Uh, but you have, do have to be careful, as hiding below this crest is a tight corner. There it is. And then, so that's sort of, that's sort of as windy as it gets, really, um, when you're driving it in anger on closed roads. Obviously, it's more windy if you have to stay in your lane. But I don't have to do that, because I don't respect um, the rules of the road. Um, even when I'm actually driving. Uh, that was a joke. For legal reasons, I've clattered the barriers again. I mean, this is just a horrible display of driving. But, um, you know, a nice scenery, am I right? Driving past the petrol station there. Um, yeah, let's just talk about the car, really. Uh, very quick. Um, I believe it's the second most recent McLaren. Uh, the Senna, I think, is the most recent. Uh, I've got it in Volcano Meta ro Metallic Red. Because uh, Project Cars 2 likes to have lots of extremely long-winded names for its for its colours for some reason. Uh, into what the fourth hairpin. And through the rock tunnel we go then. Looking very snazzy so far as I've hit the barriers once again. I've Bit of damage to the to the car there. That's that's not gonna. Oh, it it'll buff out. I'm sure. Sliding along into this weird-looking tunnel that has pillars on the edge. I don't quite understand its purpose. It looks like a bit of a balcony or something. I don't know. Um, keeping my foot flat on the floor though. He says as he hits the brakes into into this tunnel here. So I want to. Hug the inside, don't let yourself slide out wide as I have, because the barrier is very unforgiving out there. And uh, observing the signs, it just telling me there's a sweeping right-hander uh, into a left-hander through this sort of mini-valley section there. 
and out onto the motorway, but not before the obligatory slap of the barrier. Now, uh, this actually, I think, just deploys the hybrid uh, boost naturally, which means I just have to open up the DRS. Uh, that's the change, if you were wondering. And just well over 200 miles an hour and well into the barrier as well there struggling to maintain control and then hard onto the brakes try and get myself slowed down for that that didn't really work so I was sort of on the on the grass but opening DRS probably isn't the best best idea if we're being totally honest um, he says opening DRS again like an absolute mad lad 300 kilometers an hour comes and goes um, or ejaculates and evacuates depending on what you want to say just a long right-hander um, goes under under the bridge uh, so that was where we just were and then out into this lovely bit of coastal road got the sea to my right and I'm just having a good time like Freddie Mercury before um, the whole AIDS thing. I mean, massive jump there. Had to shift down a few gears to get the acceleration back. Second, second, gear, third gear, fourth gear. Uh, I might go and look at those the, the two big jumps again in replay mode. Um, I'll just look at them at the end of the video. <laughs> Uh, sorry about the shocking, shocking display of driving. Um, just you know, the first time driving the course. Um, so uh, yeah, up over this nice little bridge section. I think we're coming to the end of the course now. Now you, you it doesn't look like you have to slow down too much for this, but it, it tightens up and over the crest just to be like, really annoying about things. And does it again here I've been caught out by it this time though and now on to the motorway for the final time uh, now it's quite interesting when you race cars here the, uh, the AI are shocking I'm gonna be honest awful um, but then it sort of tightens up massively here um, Oh, got a bit airborne. Uh, it sort of tightens up and then opens up again. So, yeah, across the line. Uh, I think I, I think I did okay. A 7:25. Um, the the record is a six minute, just six minutes on the dot basically. Um, yeah, 7:25 and a P1. That's that's not not too bad. Uh, there was stock set up. Uh, obviously, what with me hitting the barriers, I could probably get to just seven minutes on the dot. Here we are then, watching it again. I'll skip to the first major jump. Uh, you can really see how just how brilliant this car looks in the in the colour and also just vibing on the on the Californian roads on the, on the California coastal road. Um sort of looks a bit like something out of top gear. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm really excited. Hopefully, going to make this a series as well. If you want, if you want to see that, let me know. Obviously, Richard Hammond got in for that section. There. Yeah, if you want this to become a series, do do let me know, because uh, I I I, I want to make it a series. But I'm only going to do it if you guys want to want to do it. See how shocking my mistakes were. Murdered two cones. Those cones didn't have a family. I checked before I started. Racing, there you go, and that's where I tap the brakes. Let's get a look at that one in slow mo. So, um, I just uh, hello. I mean, so I've I've left the the best about this point. I've left the ground. Um, and I'm just flying. Z Project has to put a lot of work into getting the floor correct there. Let's play spot where I hit the brakes. There it is. Um, 
just totally ruined the uh, the diffuser and slammed into the barriers. Always a fun time. Um, so just speeding along through here. A lovely section of road. Loving this camera work as well. Yeah. Uh, amazing stuff. Um, and another jump there. I've got all the hops, mate. Wasn't really a jump, but there you go. You can just listen to it sing. Skip over that. So the hybrid is an automatic. It automatically deploys excess energy, and DRS is automatically deployed as well. I mean, look at it. Just zooming along the rip-off Golden Gate Bridge there. The Poundland Golden Gate Bridge. And obviously sort of made a, a hash of things. We'll just skip over that. Don't, don't have to look at that. Look right now. There you go. And on to this section. Inset tunnel. Didn't get airborne. A beautiful car though. When it's just flat out. Here we are then on the run up to the second ramp. I mean you can just see it there. Up and over. I mean that is something quite... And the suspension has just died. So, um, yeah. I mean, you can really see, like, just how much of a ramp it is. And, obviously, you just send it. And I get a, a roof cam, a chase cam. Oh, yes. Only the true sim racers use chase cam. And then just clattered. I mean, came down so hard that, that the diffuser became one with the road. Uh, and yeah, that was sort of the second, second major jump. And then, there's more, more speedy drive. And this is, this is real speed as well, by the way. This is just how quickly I was driving. You sort of lose some of it when you're on board and actually there, but this is just how quickly I was going. Um, a oh, lovely motion shot there. So yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, uh, let me know. Hit the like button if you want to. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know if you want to see content that isn't this. I'll see what I can do. Another, another jump there. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.